Well, greetings and salutations. Sorry it took me a second to start this up, but the uh, <laughs> I I went to go hit something, and uh, unfortunately what I ended up doing was uh, I opened up Kerbal Space Programs, <laughs> or, uh, so I had to wait for that to load up so I could shut it down before I can come on to here. Anyway, um, now there's a video that, uh, well, there's a Hangout that's going to happen here in a couple of days, hopefully uh, sooner than later. Uh, between uh, Sean Hufford, uh, Daz the cameraman, and myself, because uh, Riley seems to have forgotten uh, bits of history, um, his own specifically. So I just thought I'd uh, say that. Hey, what's up, Wally? What's up, Mavi? And what's up, Sean? This was uh, just a, a kind of impromptu thing that I wanted to do, seeing that I just got off of uh, a shift at work. And... Uh, the uh, so now I have a couple minutes of time on my hands. Anyway, uh, there's a there was a hangout that uh, uh, Riley did, and uh, <laughs> it was all I could do to not want to punch somebody, you know, because of the fact that you know you, you just hear them rattle off all this crap as if they know what they're talking about. I mean, Riley, we already know you lie so much because of the fact that you know you'll come on to a hangout with somebody, they'll even show you to the finest detail how something is and how something works, and then you'll turn around the next day like it never happened and you've never been shown anything. But, nevertheless, I just, uh, uh, I'm not going to go too much into the hangout there because uh, we're, we are actually going to be covering that uh, once the three of us get together. Um, <coughs> but, in his uh, little hangout, he was, uh, he was talking back and forth with um, Ranty, and uh, but he played a video in the background, and uh, he was claiming it as excellent proof of the glow, or uh, excuse me, of uh, flat Earth and stuff like that. Even though he's actually starting now to say that the Earth could be a globe, just not as small as uh, or bigger. It should be bigger than than uh, what we're told, or something like that. Which I don't really know where you're going to go with that, man, because surface area has basically all been covered, or at least been photographed or explored. So um, I don't really know where you're going to go with that one. But I just wanted to uh, take a second here. Um, the video showed four different locations of Blackpool Tower. Um, and I'll just run those off for you here real quick. Okay, the first first location was uh, uh, at, uh, at Fresh Fields. Um, I think it's called Fresh Fields. Now, this first photo here, he's from an elevated height. You, There's no other way around that. Um, it, he's just He's not from very low on the ground. But nevertheless, we're not here to argue this one. He was just using this one as a reference uh, to show all the parts and pieces of Blackpool uh, during this time. Now, no argument there. And that was the distance from uh, uh, 28.4 kilometers. Second place that he went to was a place called Lee, Lee So. I hope, it's, I hope that's what it's called, Lee So. Okay, now he says that uh, half the tower should be, uh, uh, should be gone. Okay. We'll check that out. And he's uh, uh, at 45 kilometers. And then he goes to uh, the favorite place that uh, Riley lied about. Uh, this is Hoy Lake. Hey, check it out, Riley. There's no mysterious landmass between you. <laughs> but, you know, we'll go into that uh, in that big hangout. Anyway, uh, that is from 48 kilometers, 48.6 kilometers. And then, of course, from uh, Talaker, uh, Tal Talaker, whatever, whatever it's called, uh, which is a little bit further away from Hoy Lake, and a little bit more to the west, uh, from five thousand or uh, wow, five thousand. Listen to me, uh, 54, 54 kilometers away. Okay. Now, <laughs> the first biggest problem is that. Um, Riley likes to use 518 feet as the be-all, end-all height of um, of the tower. Problem is, the be-all, end-all height of the tower is not 518 feet. It's not. This is just fact. Okay. So, the roof is at 518 feet. Now, to understand what the roof is in this, I pulled up this uh, this this diagram. This is the only diagram that I can ever find that actually has some measurements on it. And these are all in feet, and this is measuring between some of the central girders here from the ground height. Now, 
what I did here is I made a block because th this span right here is 40 feet. Okay, as as per the drawing, it's per it's 40 feet. So I made that block, replicated it, 518 feet to the roof. Guess what? 518 feet to the roof of the observation deck. This here is just the spire on top of the tower. It's decoration. Yes, I do know you can go up in it. I've seen videos where you can. However, the roof is 518 feet. Now, if you expand even further to what I did up here, um, the top of the spire goes to about 594 feet. So, sorry about that, man, but them's just the facts. And uh, so, the visible portion, uh, I, I'm not going to make any illusions that you can actually see the, uh, the, this uh, uh, flagpole from any distance other than quite close. Um, so, pretty simple. And uh, But as far as things that get illuminated, this entire structure gets illuminated with the exception of the flagpole itself. So you're still seeing about, you know, another 70-something feet above the observation point. Okay? Now, what I did was I took this, this very same image here, turned it on its side just so I can get the full size because when you export it out of PowerPoint... Um, I want to make sure that I had the largest size possible. So what I did was turned it on its side. Now I added the approximately 32 feet of, uh, that it is above the water line. Okay. Because it's, uh, I think it's what, 10, uh, 10 meters right out in front of the building. It's 10 meters above the, uh, the water. Okay. So this is, this is an addition of the water line. And then also I just put my block up here, the same block again, these are eight foot uh, on each one of these squares. And uh, because what I wanted to do was I wanted to trim the image so I can use it. And I knew that it was only going to export out to this height here. Like I said, I'm not worried about the flagpole. The flagpole is, in my opinion, irrelevant in this entire discussion. Now, that means this image height from here all the way up to this edge here is 540, or wow, 648 uh, feet okay that compared converted over into meters and i put it into a model now let's see what that model revealed okay now i spared you this time of watching me having to go through all this however i i feel that i'm going to have to do this sometime in the future i just want to get this out because i was bored anyway um same setup as i usually use okay i made two tracks Okay, one track is a flat, one track is the curve. Okay, and what I did was at each designated distance, I put um, a model of the Blackpool Tower. And I'll show you what I did. Oops, over here to the left, 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 left. There we go. Let's go on the flat side just so you can see this. Okay, these are the four. This is in orthographic view, so obviously there's not going to be any size change, even though they are all at different distances. And I'll just do it like this. This is what that looks like. Okay? Easy enough. Now, <coughs> it, this is just the image from, from PowerPoint, exported and scaled to size in 3ds Max. Now, what I'm just going to show you here is I'm going to show you the curve cam. This is what it looks like on the curve. From those four locations, understand that. From those four locations, that's how much of the tower you should see. And then from the flat cam, You should see the entire tower the whole way in every spot. Just, of course, at varying levels of clarity, of course. But uh, nevertheless, you should see the entire tower, which also means you should see all of Blackpool. Cool? Now, <clears throat> as a comparative measure, what I showed on here is these are the four images. Which one of these two images does this match? I mean, seriously. <coughs> I 
So that's all I really got. Now I, I put the camera at five meters for all of the images. Figure I'd cover that here real quick here. I put it at five meters for all the images. So oops. I didn't mean to do that. And so let's go ahead and show front. Okay, I have a nice little scale here. This is one meter. This is a per one meter scale. Now all I have to do, if I go all the way up to, let's go to 15 meters. None of these pictures were taken at 15 meters, or at least I don't think they were. And if I go down, nice and slow, you can see both cameras changing because this is moving both cameras. Okay, I would say you stop completely seeing Blackpool from the furthest spot at two meters. Now, stop completely seeing it is one thing. That's not even taking into account refraction. Even a 0 0.01 degrees of refraction will make everything here even more possible. Whereas no degrees of refraction <laughs> are going to make this turn into this, period. It's just not going to happen. Okay? So... That's all I really had, folks. I didn't want to make this too long. Uh, like I said, in a couple of days, be on the lookout for a, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll be held on Sean's channel, uh, about uh, uh, young Anthony needing a history lesson. Now, I wanted to do the pictures that Ranty had as well. Ranty decided he was going to get all nice and arrogant about that, um, about how nobody does, uh, uh, nobody, nobody debunked his stuff and all this other stuff. Um, let me, let me tell you why that is Ranty. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick little thing here. Um, oh, and by the way, I just figured I'd show this. The guy who actually made the video that I'm critiquing right now, this exploring the playing guy, he acknowledges the fact that, uh, the things are, are, are disappearing, but, um, he says, we certainly lose visibility as we move away. Uh, but the point I was trying to make is, in the videos is that we see much further than we should. Well, I just showed you that you don't see much further than you should. So hopefully that will open your eyes on this. Um, but, you know, that is what it is. Now, if I go to Ranty's channel, and let's not forget, you know, Ranty says, why doesn't anybody critique my stuff? Well, let me ask you something here, Ranty. Where is your Blackpool stuff? I actually looked through a couple of these thinking that it might be there, but, you know, where's your Blackpool stuff? I don't see anything here of the Blackpool Tower, that nice picture that you showed on uh, on uh, Riley's Hangout. Um, probably because nobody finds it very interesting when you call people names in, in your titles. I mean, you can do what you want, but, I mean, I, honestly, it's it makes no sense the only place that he uh he, he actually brought it up that i could see was here in the uh the 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 hangout oh and this was funny too <laughs> but uh this was the only place that he brought it up so i'll critique that another day i was just hoping to find the much more clear footage and stuff that doesn't uh at least on the other uh hangout doesn't have riley's head in front of it so you know so if you actually put your stuff out and provide your evidence and provide your proof and do your measurements. Um, yeah, then somebody can actually critique it. <laughs> Aside from that, Ranty, nobody gives a shit about you, man. So, anyway, that's all I got. I hope that uh, this uh, shed some light on some things for some people. And like I said, I, I fully expect that somebody's going to tell me to model this out just so they can deny it. Um, <coughs> Riley. And uh, sorry, but uh, Mr. Exploring the Plane is yet another fine example of somebody taking photos that actually define the globe. Okay. So I wish all you guys a great Sunday. 
And like I said, keep on the lookout for uh, for that bigger hangout on Sean's channel. All right. Y'all have yourselves a nice day.